welcome home, human nature. Hi, how are you doing? All in Good studio. This is the first time you've been all together in our studios. For a while, yeah. We've, this, we we're, love that. In the new studio, yeah. We went to the old one. It was probably about five years ago, I think. But we've spoken to you since then. But Yeah, and because I'll always be with you. That was a bit of a blast from the past. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You guys performed that in Mardi Gras with Bardo. What happened to them? Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> back in 2002. Great story. They're joining us on our tour next year. <laughs> Bardo and, and um, yeah. That, that must have been the fun gig Skillless. doing Mardi Gras. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, it's a it's a crazy night, but um, it was uh, probably an, our most unusual crowd ever because instead of like the, the high screaming pitched screaming of, of girls at our concerts prior to that, to have there was this oh, roar is mad. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, um, last night, I think that you guys posted a throwback picture of you guys covered in mud and you were guys topless. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of hot, man. Because, we because we were coming in today with a little precursor. To... Now, t- 25 years since um, you formed, um, I guess, in high school with the four tracks, and normally groups have members leave and they go solo, they break up, but what holds you guys together for so long? It's, we love that, just oh, saying. Yeah. No, we actually, yeah. I mean... We really enjoy seeing together, you know, and I think we always have realized that what is special about human nature and the four of us is the four of us. You know, we can all sing and, and, and we're all great, amazing guys individually, but <laughs> but as a group, I think it's that's what's special. And really I think that's, humble too. <laughs> that's what our fans have liked. And, I, you know, we've never thought of anything else. We've never thought of splitting up or, or um, making a change. It just it keeps working. Now, after four, I guess, original albums, you um, did the Motown albums, which were so successful, and that led to the residency in Vegas in 2009. You're still there. What's the process been like in Vegas and getting that show sort of to where it is today? Because you've gone, you're playing to bigger venues, right? Well, I guess um, I guess we'd done a fair bit of work on the Motown stuff before we went over. So we'd sort of we'd had the albums out here and we'd toured here mm. doing the Motown music. So I guess by the time because it took a couple of years to actually get a room available in Vegas. Mm. And so when we arrived, I mean there was certainly some tweaking that had to be done and um, you know production things to work out, but. I remember we were like, I was sweating bullets that, that first night, just thinking things could go so wrong. And we didn't <laughs> want to sort of have to, a week later after opening, sort of pack our bags and come back to Australia. But, um, you know, over the years, we've, we've changed it up and, and worked on the show a lot. And we moved a couple of years ago to the Venetian, which has mm. been an awesome move. And so we just um, keep on having fun with it and um, just keep on trying to evolve it over there. I was also going to have you guys home, and um, on um, Tuesday night you were on Dancing with the Stars, and Toby, you were back on the dance floor. Well, <laughs> yes. not literally, but a few years ago you were a contestant on the show. Yeah, once again, I was sweating bullets. When no. I walked in that <laughs> studio, I was like, oh, this place again. Now, one of my favourite tracks on Joy is um, Head Out Love You. Um, do you guys know the dance moves still? We actually, um, last year we re- revamped that song. We kind of well, revisited that song and kind of brushed up the moves and put it in our concert. And so sang it was... in front of an orchestra. Yes. Because, Michael, <laughs> your hair was uh, sky high. It was, yes. <laughs> it had quite, quite the hair. It was very, very impressive. And let's move on to, I guess, the new album, Jukebox, which um, you're going back to your roots, I mean, the harmonies, the, the doo-ops. You guys started with that, with that stuff. And for this album, you've worked with the legendary producer, Bob, Bob Rock, which yeah. was incredible. It must have been a lot of fun in the studio recording the new album with him. It really was. It was great. And we've, we've actually gone right back to the start of our career, actually, because the first song we ever sang together was Earth Angel. Mm-hmm. Um, a song by the Penguins and um, we, Andrew um, arranged a doo-wop version of that just for the four of us and that was our first show oh, and, yeah. and um, so to have that on the record here it is it's going right back to where we started and and Bob Rock was just amazing I mean he's he's produced acts from all the way from Michael Bublé to Metallica wow. so um, he bring, he brought such an amazing creativity to the whole process so to sort of feed off that was it was a great experience and there's also an original song on the album, I thought it's going to really um, please, I guess, the old fans. Yeah. We, What's um, the new track like? It's called End of Days, and it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of in the same vein as of the, of the whole record. It's kind of mm. soulful, old school, but it's, um, it was just, 
important for us to have an original song on the album and really flesh out this jukebox concept. And um, mm. I think, yeah, a lot of the fans that have... I mean, we had a Christmas album last year too which had a, a, an original Christmas song on there, but I think this is probably the first standalone original song from us for a while and it just fits in the mix nicely and it'd be great to do that one live. I think it'll be awesome. Next May you're going on tour, which is fantastic. What can fans expect from the tour? You're doing, obviously, songs from Jukebox, um, your, your own stuff, hopefully. Yeah, we'll be doing... I mean, it's a real celebration of the, the 25 years we've been together so we'll be doing songs from from all the all the albums you know I guess that, that we've had over the years and it's um it's going to be great you know it's so so great to be back in, in the country and just feel that you know we, we can really feel the energy from people who uh you love what we do and, and, and it's just it's great for us we can't wait to get out there and, and do these shows next year now guys finally a couple of my girlfriends Michelle and Cheryl who are both listening I hope um, they've followed hi you guys, Michelle and Cheryl <laughs> they've followed you guys since day one and they absolutely love you guys um, I said you can have one question each okay so Cheryl's <laughs> question is um, when are you guys releasing an original album we, um, when we come up with one, I suppose. You know, we've really enjoyed... The fans it. want one, guy. just the saying. <laughs> well, and I guess that's why we put an original song on this one, so we're not mm. leaving people who like our original side out. But I think, for us, the, the Vegas show is a real, is a real um, big part of our career at the moment, and we want to evolve that show and put some of the jukebox material into that show as well. So it just okay. made a lot of sense to make this record. And, you know, we're enjoying it. I hope the fans enjoy our interpretations of these songs as much as we uh, they enjoy our original stuff. But we'll, um, we'll, we'll always keep it. We'll keep swinging back, swinging both ways, should I say. Swing both. We love that. Enjoy. <laughs> now, um, Michelle's question is, um, you've recorded with icons like John Farnham and Olivia Newton-John. Um, if you were to do a duets album, a massive hint, hint. It's a great idea, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, not yeah. bad. Um, okay. um, which Aussie artist would you like to do it with? Phil? Oh, Aussie artist. Um, Aussie first artist. First one that comes to mind, John Stevens. Toby? Oh, wow. Um, maybe Bachelor Girl. Andrew. <laughs> cool. Colette. <laughs> Ring my bell and Michael. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, you said it before, and it's pretty obvious, but, um, yeah, I think maybe, ba Bardo, I'd say. Or maybe Girlfriend. <laughs> oh, it's all together. <laughs> yeah. Great having you guys home and in the Joy Studios. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for Thanks having us. Thanks for joining us this morning on the show. Yeah.